Roberto Fernandez died suddenly in a plane crash, but after his body was exhumed and a DNA sample taken, it was determined he had been responsible for three murders roughly 20 years prior, making him a serial killer. The first victim discovered on June 22, 2000 in Cooper City, Florida was Kimberly Dietz Livesey, whose body was crammed into a suitcase along a road. Then on August 9, 2000, the body of Sia Demers was found stuffed in a duffel bag along another road near Darnia Beach, Florida. A year later on August 30, 2001, the body of Jessica Good was recovered floating in Biscayne Bay in Miami. When he became a suspect in that murder, Roberto quickly fled to Brazil. As authorities looked deeper into his past, they found out Roberto had murdered his ex-wife in 1996, but got acquitted on a self-defence claim. I just hope in Roberto's final moments he experienced pure terror just like his victims did.